community is really freaking out about this. I mean, we have reports, and Robert could probably tell you better than I can, that some churches have considered closing their doors because the community is in such a panic. I mean, that's ridiculous. You have private attorneys here at Sunday morning at 6.30 um, who are ready to go to work uh, from all levels of practice and experience. You have members of the Hispanic community, members of the LGBT community. You have members of just the community. I mean, that's who we are in the end, who have all come together at 6.30 in the morning because one element of the community is at risk, and we're here to protect them. We're here to, to hold them accountable, to give them the resources they need, to give them the support they need. Uh, that's what we're here for. The people in the community see the church as a safe place, and if uh, law enforcement or other people are targeting us, it, it feels very unsafe. What we are standing together as a Hispanic Catholic community, and uh, you know, uh, staying, keep each other informed and posted. And you just want to go to church and that peace that you want to find there with your community, and thinking that you know there's going to be immigration there, that you know having family that's you know not legal, and just that fear, you know, of not wanting to go because of wheat here, and it's just scary. It's it's really scary.